Hey guys, Barry here. Welcome back to your gaming station, Ten Pack Gamer, and welcome to the Jackbox Party Pack. And believe me, that was very hard to say very quick. But uh, yeah, a massive thank you to Tony and his team there for giving me the code for one and two, the first two games of uh, the series, I guess. I'm three years out, I have to get that as well. And so basically, I'm going to do some single player. And when I get some friends over, I will do some multiplayer. Okay. We are ready for start of game. Okay, so here as you can see we have single player using a controller, and multiplayer using mobile devices. Okay. Okay, we are on. So I've never actually played this before. Okay, we have episodes here and rankings. Right Let's now. check out the rankings very quickly. The so no one there. Party. Episode. Okay, so 50 episodes. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, let's join. New name. I don't care. Okay, new name here. We have... Barry. Nice one. Let's give it a go. This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. <laughs> Okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. Playing alone, I see. What else is new? And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. And so it begins. Get ready, time to crash it. Run. To get things rolling, bootyful. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? What? 10%, 40%, 80%, or... I'm going to say 10%. What kind of dried, shriveled up brains have you been looking at? <laughs> Allow me. Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. <laughs> but like, that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. One of those things where you're not sure if it's like a joke answer or it's serious. May I introduce... His acting is alright, 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 alright. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's Was that okay impression of Matthew McConaughey's <laughs> Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, what? the McConaughey Industrial Age, the McConaughey Middle Ages, or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? What? What was it be? Get out of here! Seriously, get out of here. Where's that confounded right answer? The Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the How late 14th century, know? immediately the following the Middle Ages. That's made so up. The Meconaissance would follow the Meconna Middle Ages. Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. Dance with me, Disco 3. I've never played this game before. What the hell uh, is next. going on? Brought to you by the letter U. Nebrow. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange these Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most oh, eyebrows. I really Bert, what? Ernie, Bert, Ernie the it. Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, okay, so the, the Count. Is, the uh, Count, Bert, Ernie, or Ernie, the Count. The Count Bert. is first, so A. Uh. The Count would be so disappointed. <laughs> what? I so wanted you to pick this one. Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two. Two uh, eyebrows! I thought the Count had one. <laughs> really? Now, this would be hilarious in two player. And yet, none of them have ever blinked. <laughs> Open wide for... Duck Duck Swan? 
Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Oh, Siegfried, God. Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? <laughs> Say ben, or I'm having a clue. Song. <laughs> or I really don't have a clue, one? guys. Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan. So the Duck Dynasty crew what would probably fill on? her full of lead. <laughs> Especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college. Here's one for you. The man in the backwards yellow hat. And it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's... An alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or... An antic by the classic children's book character, Curious George. If it's Justin <laughs> Bieber, press the Y button. If it's okay. Curious George, press the A button. Ready? Let's go. Peed in a mop bucket. Peed in a mop bucket. Uh, yeah. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a fire. Oh, that one wrong. House. Egg the house. Definitely Beaver. Don't lie <laughs> on ether. Beaver. Wait, what? A bugle to an ostrich. Oh, Went to a God. brothel. Oh, come on. Forget that George, was just terrible. Three out of seven. Badly. I suck I at this we game. Can all agree that it's time for that little bastard. What's with these deported. questions? And then it's your turn, Bieber. <laughs> that about does it for round one. And you haven't screwed up entirely just yet. Keep in yeah, mind, yeah, prizes yeah. are doubled in round two. And hint, hint, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> it's time for... Dumber and Dumber... <laughs> so, there's Dumb and Dumber, Ooh. and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes Jim Carrey sense. questions. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So, if another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called The Blank Couple. Odd, Otter, Oddest, or Otterist. And oddest. Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. I actually got a question right. Wow. A couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Question seven. Get up and shake your monkey What? Here's a good one. This is something that you'd see let on Alan the Generous. Let it go. Let it go. At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 Gross. degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. Uh, I want to say Fahrenheit. Hmm. I have a clue. You may not know how temperatures work. Here's where the money is. 30 degrees oh, is below come on. freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah, 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 he can magically I'm stupid, be I know. Safe, but I'm talking blah, about blah, what would blah, happen blah. in the real world to a talking snowman. I call this one Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein. Yeah. What the hell? Uranus. First spotted in 1879. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. I'm thinking Peanut. I want to see Uranus. That answer has a hole in it. <laughs> now pay attention. Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife oh or God. something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. 
Try this on for size. Wine or lose. If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive red-skinned mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? I want to say the Malbecs. Chardonnays, oh, Pinot oh, Blancs, it, and Rieslings one. are all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. Oh, I got it right. Although to a connoisseur like myself, wow. Malbec I'm is down very nice money now. <laughs> oh yes, I do say that was quite a burn. And now, I want to lick and roll all night. What? If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? Oh, about God. About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 oh, inches. 20? An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's mouth a giraffe-tongued Gene Simmons could stick it. Yay. Gene oh, dude, better now. grew to the length of an adult giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. Jack attack. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right. 2,000 gone if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Your house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? Good luck. Fantastic. No, I think I missed it. Adobe, what? Tofu, no. Six, no. It was. No. There we go. No, he's not pineapple, he's a uh, starfish. No. No, come on. No. Oh, come on. Oh, it's me, Patrick. Did I miss it? I'm not gonna... Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, so the Patrick one was the seashell, wasn't it? This house. <laughs> Haven't looked over that minute. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, see, he's gone. No, I'm way out of money now. Not a dopey eater. No, not class. Cards? Yes. My score is going to be terrible. That's all she wrote! The truth is, home is wherever you hang your hat. My hat is currently hanging in my old college roommate's That was absolutely cottage. awful last Shh, round. You guys didn't know I'm living there. You don't know Jack! Yeah, I don't know Jack. Oh god. And the credits. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, that... I mean, that is a very clever game. I know it's a simple concept of, I'm Kyle Pepper. you know, ever questions. Since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast. So that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League.
We only have three rules. What? One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You stopped exactly. with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Great, sorry. Where was I? Yeah, I enjoyed this. Thanks again for this call. I will play number two for you. Oh, boy. Whoa, dude. Anyway. What the f you can, of course, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Please do subscribe, like, comment section, below, all this other crap. it. I don't have time to eat an adult carrot, but with baby carrots... No, they're cursing. Lovely. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, stay fresh. tiny.